Hello and welcome back. My name is Nate Guadani. Today I want to share with you some exercises you can do for when you feel stuffy and tight in your chest. So we all feel this way sometimes, whether you're just congested physically or emotionally or even mentally. When our energy gets blocked up and tight, it can feel stuffy and hard to breathe. We can feel kind of blocked up. Nobody likes feeling that way. So these next few exercises, these Qigong practices will help you open up the heart feel lighter, breathe easier, and uh, hopefully feel a lot of relief in this stuffy feeling. So if you're ready, let's begin. So we'll start with a warm up called knocking on the door of life. So you open your feet up wide and you bounce and you twist and you swing your arms like this. And the front hand, you're gonna slap the chest, just like you're tapping on a drum with an open palm tap the chest and the back hand will tap with the back of your fist on the point opposite your belly button, the Ming Men, the door of life. So just swing and tap and it takes a little while to get the hang of it, but a little practice and you'll be a pro. A little bounce with your knees here. So you're kind of bouncing and swinging so that your arms can relax as you tap. So focus in on your lungs, breathe deeply. You can inhale through your nose. And if you wanna exhale through your mouth, that can help relieve some of that tension and stress and stuffiness. So inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Good. And now just pause for a moment, take a breath, see how it feels. All right, and throughout the class today, as we go through these exercises, I want you to keep noticing any changes to that stuffiness in your chest. Next one is spinal cord breathing. So this is gonna help open up the front and the back of your spine. You're gonna bend your knees down, raise your arms up, inhale, arch your back, so feel the chest open like this. Exhale, your elbows come together, tuck your pelvis and your chin, and you should feel a stretch along the back. Inhale, chest, Exhale, back. So about a minute or so, just smooth and steady. Really feel those edges and exhale. Contract all the way. From the front view, you can see the elbows go wide. The light fist, not too hard. And as you exhale, the elbows come together. The closer they come, the more you'll feel this stretch across the middle upper back. That's one of the areas we're targeting today. Breathe in through your nose and you can either exhale through your mouth or your nose for this one. Feel this opening in your chest. Good. Two more times. Inhale open. Feel that pause at the edge before exhaling. Really push all the air out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now release your arms, shrug your shoulders back. Now just stand again for a moment, notice what you feel. Okay, now often the tension comes from this sternum point here, your xiphoid process, but you've also got a fourth chakra, your heart chakra right here, your thymus gland is here. So there's a lot of important areas when this gets stuffed and tight, you can feel really, really blocked. So to open it up, we're gonna do some fingertip tapping. So you use your fingers like this and you're gonna tap, 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 tap. It's like you're wrapping on glass. It should be strong and hard. Tap real strongly, okay? So for ladies, if you're wearing a bra, this can sometimes get in the way. So you could tap a little higher up on the chest if you want. Breathe in and really as you inhale, you're gonna breathe through the chest, okay? So inhale, keep tapping and fill the lungs up as you tap. Now this might be painful. To some people this is excruciating. So don't make it so painful that you actually get tighter, all right? A little pain is fine. Or a little bit of that strong, sharp sensation is fine just as long as you can breathe and relax into it. For this one, I would breathe out through your mouth. 
In general, when you inhale and exhale just through your nose, you accumulate and circulate energy. Because we're trying to release energy, you're gonna exhale out through your mouth, okay? Now we have six healing sounds in Qigong. The heart sound is ha, H-A-W. So try that, inhale through your nose, and say ha. A few times like that, inhale. Often you will do that naturally, right? When we get stressed out, we sigh. <sighs> so doing it deliberately with the tapping will make an even stronger effect. <sighs> now, if you want to increase the intensity even more, you're going to make a more audible sound. So you're going to make a ha sound. Inhale through your nose. Ha. Elongate and feel the vibration in your chest through that sound, ha sound. Keep going for about a minute. Ha. Depending on how much stress or how stuffy you feel, you can make it louder or stronger, okay? The more stress and stuffiness, the louder you're gonna have to make it. Inhale. Ha. So other people, if they're around, they might be a little concerned. So don't worry. Just make a big sound. Ha! It's a big relief as you do this. Keep going. Ha! Feel free, make it your own experiment. You could do it longer, try different tones. Sometimes just finding that vi right vibration where the emotion you're feeling and the sound you're making match, you can actually release the emotion through the sound, okay? So play around with your sounds a little bit here. Ha! You can even do like a glissando in opera where you go, ha! I'm not an opera singer, but you can try that. Ha! play with the pitch and you'll find there's a resonant point where that stuffiness and the sound you're making kind of match and you'll feel a release. You'll feel an emotion or an energetic release. Keep trying. Ha. Relax your throat. Try different sounds. Don't be shy. Ha. Find that vibration that matches what you feel. Keep going with it until you feel some release. All right, if you're ready to move on now, stop. Close your eyes, breathe into your chest. Breathe a few times, see if you feel any difference now in your chest. Sometimes after that, I feel like there's a hole here, like a, a window opened and you can just feel that fresh air flowing. So breathe into the chest, see if there's any opening yet. <sighs> nice. So now we'll move into a couple more poses to just purify and circulate this energy. So bend your knees, we're gonna do crane spreads its wings. Open your arms wide on your inhale. And exhale, sink your hips and let your hands come back together. Imagine you've got these huge wings like a crane soaring through the sky. Inhale, expand, palms down a little bit. Exhale, palms up a little bit. So here it's your option. If you feel like you need to release more energy, you're gonna inhale through your nose. And you can release energy exhaling through your mouth. But if you're feeling open and you just wanna circulate, just breathe in and out through your nose. Visualize you're on the top of the mountain. You're soaring through the sky. Inhale. Visualize that fresh, clean, crisp air flowing through your lungs. That lightness, that weightlessness under your arms. Inhale. 
breathing and purifying. One more time, inhale, open wide. Exhale, breathing out. I'm gonna finish now with an energy ball. You can do this standing, seated, or sitting on the floor. You're gonna cup your hands like you're holding a light bulb in each hand, and you're gonna twist like this. Getting faster, you're relaxed in your shoulders, okay? Spinning until you feel like your fingers are swelling up. Okay, and then once that tingling starts, stop and then press and feel the energy ball forming in your hands. There's a little space on your armpits. Your hands are light. You might not feel anything at first, but with some practice, there'll be a tangible energy ball here. Move it around, play with it, up and down, stretching. I want you to visualize a color for your energy ball. And visualize a vibrancy. How bright is it? Picture a texture, is it smooth or spiky, is it rough, wavy? Visualize a density, is it solid, hollow, amorphous, jelly? I want you to picture this energy ball filling up Bright, vital chi. This pure healing energy flowing through your body, flowing through your hands. This energy ball has a lot of healing qualities and properties to it. This energy can help balance you physically, emotionally, or mentally. We're gonna take this energy ball now and you're gonna place it in your heart. So invite it into your body without rushing or forcing it, just let your hands turn toward your chest and slowly be drawn in like a magnet with each breath, like the waves of the ocean, slowly moving closer to your body. The hands may even change positions or move around a little bit as they settle into a landing spot. Hands might even move away from the chest, to the throat or the abdomen. Wherever your hands feel like landing and settling, once they're ready, just place them on your body, absorb this chi, this energy, and breathe deeply. Close your eyes. Visualize the energy flowing into your cells and your organs. Like rivers flowing into creeks, absorbing into the earth. With a smile, receiving this pure healing energy. Whatever it was that caused the stuffiness, this blockage, is still holding itself within you. Let it absorb and melt into that blockage. Let this healing energy dissolve it. Imagine those blockages melting away, releasing the resistance. One more deep breath in. Exhale out, brushing your chest, releasing out. Now just pause for a moment, close your eyes and feel your breath. See how it has changed through these practices. All right, I hope you're feeling a transformation. I hope you're feeling better. You can do this over and over. So you can do this multiple times and each time you might feel a little bit different. Hopefully that's provided some relief. You can breathe a little easier. You're feeling a little bit better. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining me today. If you have any comments or questions, you can send those my direction. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any ideas, other videos you'd like me to make or other things you'd like me to address, let me know in the comments and I'd love to make something for you. All right, be well, my friend. Take care.